我 in the first person pronoun meaning I, me. 你 in the second person pronoun meaning you, you. 他 in the third person pronoun for the male meaning he, him. 他 in the third person pronoun for the female. Meaning, she, her. Ta is the third-person pronoun for a non-human object or a thing. Meaning, it, it. Unlike in English language, Chinese personal pronouns are always in the same form. Regardless of the roles they play in the sentence. Now let's first take war as an example. Used as a subject. 我是老师 It means I am a teacher. Here, 我 Is the subject of the sentence. 是 is the linking verb, followed by the predicate nominative, 老师 which is a compound noun meaning teacher. Used as a predicate nominative, 他们的老师是我 It means their teacher is I. 他们的 is a possessive determiner, meaning their. Modifying the compound noun 老师 together forming a noun phrase. 他们的老师 which serves as the subject of the sentence. 是 is the linking verb, followed by the predicate nominative 我 Of course, in English you can say their teacher is me, but that's only in colloquial speech. Used as an object of a verb. 昨天 John 在街上遇见我 It means yesterday John ran into me in the street. 昨天 is an adverb meaning yesterday, serving as an adverbial of time. John is the subject of the sentence. 在街上 is a prepositional phrase meaning in the street. 遇见 is a transitive compound verb, meaning run into, followed by its object, 我 used as an object of a preposition. 这个礼物是给我的 It means this gift is for me. 这个 is a demonstrative adjective meaning this. Modifying the compound noun 礼物 meaning gift. So, 这个礼物 means this gift. Serving as the subject of the sentence. 是 Is the linking verb. 给 is a preposition meaning for, and it is followed by its object 我 meaning me. That here is a particle used at the end of the sentence, emphasizing the tone of affirmation. 
the prepositional phrase 给我的 is the predicative of the sentence. Okay, as you can see, Chinese personal pronouns are always in the same form. This rule applies to all the personal pronouns. Now, let's substitute 你他他 for 我你是老师 It means you are a teacher. 他是老师 It means he is a teacher. 他是老师 It means she is a teacher. 他们的老师是你 It means their teacher is you. 他们的老师是他 It means their teacher is he. 他们的老师。是他 It means their teacher is she. 昨天 John 在街上遇见你 It means yesterday John ran into you in the street. 昨天 John 在街上遇见他 It means. Yesterday, John ran into him in the street. 昨天 John 在街上遇见他 It means yesterday John ran into her in the street. 这个礼物是给你的 It means this gift is for you. 这个礼物是给他的。It means this gift is for him. 这个礼物是给他的。It means this gift is for her. Now you have a good understanding of singular personal pronouns. What about their plural forms? It's super easy. Simply add to them a particle, 门 which serves as a suffix for personal pronouns and a noun that refers to human. Let's take a look. 我们 means we, us. 你们 means you, you. 他们 means they, them. Refers to a group of males or a group of mixed genders. 他们 means they, them. Refers to a group of females. Tamen means they, them. Refers to a group of non-human objects or things. Now let's put them in the same sentences. 我们是老师 It means. We are teachers. 你们是老师 It means you are teachers. 他们是老师 It means they are teachers. 他们是老师 It means they are teachers. 他们的老师是我们
it means their teachers are we. 他们的老师是你们。It means their teachers are you. 他们的老师是他们。It means their teachers are they. 他们的老师是他们。It means their teachers. Are they? 昨天 John 在街上遇见我们。It means yesterday John ran into us in the street. 昨天 John 在街上遇见你们。It means yesterday John ran into you in the street. 昨天 John 在街上遇见他们。It means yesterday John ran into them in the street. 昨天 John 在街上遇见他们。It means yesterday John ran into them in the street. 这个礼物是给我们的。It means the gift is for us. 这个礼物是给你们的。It means this gift is for you. 这个礼物是给他们的。It means this gift is for them. 这个礼物是给他们的。It means. This gift is for them. In this example, the subject 这个礼物 is still in singular form, since one gift can be for a group of people.